Welcome one and all. It's Trustworthy Cannibal here. And in this video, you will learn five ways to defend this starter trap based design from the forces of evil in the wilderness of rust. Don't let them take your loot and goop that you so valiantly stole from someone else. Defend it, boys and gals. If you haven't already, watch the last video from my channel here of me building the starter trap based design. Only one you'll ever need to watch and learn ever again for starter trap bases. Um, I'm a newer channel, so I love if you can like and subscribe. It really helps me out, guys and gals. Uh, like and subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and watch through to the end because I got one exploit that you could use advantage of in your next build. All right, the first tip I have for you for increasing the effectability, I don't know if that's a word, the effectiveness of the trap slash starter base is the use of two small boxes here. It's super easy, super quick, 200 wood. It's gonna make your life a little bit easier and a little bit safer. So what I like to do is get uh, one wooden box this way and one right here. Kind of hug the corners there. And what you've done now is made running past the shotgun uh, trap super difficult. So, you know, let's say you have some rascal coming out here from the wilderness. He's thinking, he's heard about this legendary shotgun trap base here. He's thinking, oh, I'm a quick little rascal raccoon. I, I can get past this. Uh, shotgun trap. I'm gonna hop up that box and speed through it. They jump down. They're getting blasted. They're getting blasted. They're getting blasted. They're getting blasted. There, yeah, there's no way. A thousand million trillion bullets have gone through their cranium at that point. So uh, getting in and out is definitely a little more difficult as the base owner. Um, what I like to do to get out, you just jump on this box, crouch, and kind of go around the corner here, and you're out for the wins uh, to get killed ten times. And getting in is a little more difficult. You're going to have to kind of suffer the same way your enemies are by jumping in like this. It kind of takes a while to get used to. Uh, but once you're uh, come acclimated to it, it's a great way to prevent somebody from just running through that shotgun trap and, you know, spoiling your day. And tip number two for making the starter trap base a little more raid resistant uh, is actually putting another sheet metal door between the raiders and your TC. So what I mean by that is actually using the ladder hatch. So I'm gonna move these boxes out of the way so I'm not flopping around like a fish to get through. Um, so grab that building plan, select the floor triangle frame. In the jump up, you're gonna put the frame right there. Don't forget to upgrade it. Uh, check one of my more recent shorts uh, for somebody who forgot to upgrade the frame. Uh, they, it didn't go well for them. You know, it's the same goes for these double doors here. Make sure you upgrade those, those frames, folks. All right, so upgrade that. Grab that triangle ladder hatch, and you can have it open whatever way you want, but I like to have it open this way, and I'll show you why in a second. So, bada bing, bada boom, you've put another 250 hit points between the raiders and your TC. Again, same hit points as a sheet metal door, that ladder hatch. So, with the ladder hatch there, um, it's pretty easy and convenient, not too clunky to get in and out of. Um, could somebody, hypothetically, use the ladder on the ladder hatch to drain the shotgun trap? Again, like I said in my previous video, I haven't seen that happen, but could it happen? Probably. If it has, you've seen it, put a comment in and I'll laugh at you. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments if you have seen that. Um, so another thing is too, um, it's pretty slippery. So again, uh, it's a lot more slippery than you'd think. People are going to mess up. They're going to fall in with all that boom, with that stuff that they're you know coming to rage you with or go try to go deep on you with, and you're going to get it from them via your good buddy miss or mr shotgun trap here um so again i like to use the ladder hatch when i'm logging off for the day you just take it up and you know take it off you know if you want to get in and out easier use it for more of the trap based side of things um or you can leave it up and it still works just fine for the trap based component super nice it gets in your way no big deal just pop everything off and then you go back to the old-fashioned way of getting in and out and tip number three is using deployables people so I don't see this as much as I should in the wilds of Rust or out on you know other YouTube videos. All I mean by this is when you have those extra deployables, you have those extra resources to make them, throw them in front of the door. I don't know why people don't do this more often. You're creating a ton more time or explosives for folks to get through. You know, they're going to blow through those first two doors. Now they got these furnaces. They're not going to want to waste their time. They're going to grab a pickaxe or a tool, start hitting them to get them knocked out. And that's going to give time for counters, time for randos with DBs to come up and grief them and grub them and save your base ultimately. Um, or they use more explosives on your base and then you know uh, when you log back on and your base is destroyed, they wasted a little more boom on your base. 
than they would have. Uh, furnaces are great. You know, New Year's Gong is really, really great. If you have that DLC, it's got some high hit points. But the best one you can use is the large rechargeable battery. If you can throw a couple of these in front of that door before you log off, that's a ton more raid cost for folks to get through these. Um, you can put them down here. You can put them um, up on the roof here in front of the door. It's going to deter people. Another thing, too, is if you if I was walking around and I saw like a door here with a thing in front of it, I would just think that it got raided and griefed. Now we'll just keep on walking by. Maybe they thought somebody else raided that starter trap base. So, folks, use deployables. You know, um, why leave them in the boxes for a grub to come by after somebody raided and took all the good stuff to take those deployables out? You know, slap them down. You can repair them for durability. Or, you know, wh why not, folks? So, definitely recommend using that. Great if you're being online, too. You know, they destroy the shotgun trap there coming down. Throw that furnace up there. Grab that DB. And you can just wait right here. You got a little bit of extra cover that you wouldn't have. So, folks, use more deployables when you're getting online or when you're logging offline for the night. And number four, this one is borderline exploitative, in my opinion. Um, you've seen definitely probably maybe clans use this in their context on their big, you know, tall clan bases on those shooting floors, those heli floors. Uh, they have those kind of peak downs on the corners out oh, those floor triangles kind of wedged close together. Uh, and this is used to bridge that gap, fill that gap, to prevent folks from laddering up and getting in their bases. That is, of course, if you haven't guessed it by now, the Siren Light at a cheap 120 metal frags. The Siren Light is a excellent friend for you alongside of those clans in the starter trap base. So what I like to do here, if I want the ability to shoot some guys up here, maybe they're sitting up there, roof, you know, door camping up there, stopping that business from coming down. They want, they're hogging all that attention from us. Uh, you can use these siren lights. I like to kind of place them at a, you know, at a one, two, three level here, kind of move them around up and down a little bit. You can make them fit just like that. So now what you can do is they can jump down, but they can't get through this. You can shoot at them. They can shoot at you, um, but it is going to make it uh, impossible for them to get down without blowing through these. And if you didn't know, Siren Lights, they take one satchel to destroy one. So they'll get some splash damage on these guys, but they're not going to get them all. And if you want to be really annoying, you can just spam the heck out of these here. You know, really be a piece of piece of work on the server here. Be that guy. You know, yeah, that's a ton of metal, but, you know, you do you, man. So use those Siren Lights, folks. They'll, uh, they'll, be, they'll be good buddies for you in this sort of trap base. Yeah, I'm not doing this. All right, and last but not least, tip number five, worst case scenario tip. But before I do that, I want to invite everybody who's watching the video at this point, especially like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. It means a ton to me when you do that. Those numbers roll in, my motivation morale go up, uh, makes me have a great day, um, good times when folks are subscribed and liked in comments. Anywho, tip number five, last tip, uh, this is for those situations. When you're sitting in your starter trap base, collecting all that loot, that goop from those farmers, from those solos and duos, you know, they're coming down with those DBs thinking they could beat you and your trusty old Miss Shotgun Trap. They're getting blasted. You don't know where to put all the loot. You've got boxes and, and stuff everywhere. You're overwhelmed. And then you hear that quad, that octo, whatever five people is, pentagon, I don't know. Five people coming up. They got boots on. You know, they got rocket launchers being loaded. You hear it. Those guns are being cocked and loaded. You're getting nervous. And then they're telling you they're going to be busting on inside of your base here and taking on your goop and scooting. This is for those situations, folks. You hear that? Maybe you hear that C4 on that top door up there. Um, this is what you're going to do. Pick up the small box. Pick up this door ASAP. Grab that building plan. Select the stairs spiral triangle. Don't have it open this way. Have it open this way. And metal that off. Grab that door. Slap her back down. And you're ready to throw down, boys. So at this point, that shotgun trap, she can still blast them if they're coming up here and shooting. You can you know, put some deployables up here. You can shoot back at them, throw some grenades. Whatever you need to do. 
you're gonna be able to defend your base a lot more effectively they're gonna decide to blow through a wall or they're gonna have to blow through the stairs again if they don't get to you and destroy it in 10 minutes you can easily just destroy that through stairs and you're back in business if they do however c4 it and you're still standing here you didn't get blown away by that c4 grab that building plan and you can just be a cheeky little rascal here and you can just build it all over again and they can't get through this way either too um and you could do this all day again have this door open too as well you have a defensible advantage at every corner so use that stairs if need be last case scenario and of course you can pair that with all the other things we talked about in this video with those small boxes so they can't run in um, you, you know grab that you know deployable dot large battery that in front of there as well um, grab those siren lights you can put siren lights on doors just like that too to make it extra cheeky and annoying for them slap them down while they're coming up there um, you can be a true rascalian for them and defend your shotgun trap base forever and ever and ever so if you haven't already like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video